everybody, this is Tyler Jordan from Ragdoll Studios. You can check us out at www.ragdollanimation.com. Now, this will be a two part series. Uh, this one's going to be about uh, hotkeys and shortcuts for 3 Studio Max. Uh, the next one will be for Cinema 40. So you can check that out when when I release it. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Now any of these hotkeys or shortcuts can be changed if you go to customize. Um, customize interface. Customize user interface. Boom. And they're right here. So if you wanted something for the curve editor, which there is not, you would just assign it to the key. Um, let's, I'm going to start with the basics. So I'm going to put a box in. I put a box in there. And to undo undo the scene, control Z. Redo the scene, control Y. So now let's say you moved your camera way over here, but you want your camera to be back where it was. You press Shift Z to uh, undo the viewport. But if you wanted to go back, shift Y. So I'm gonna shift Z. <clears throat> Next thing I'm gonna talk about are their, I call them the main tools, which are these up here. So this so Q Q is the set selection tool. W is the move tool. E is the rotation tool. R is the scale tool. So scale tool rotation, move tool, selection tool. You would use the selection tool if there were more than one objects in the scene. If not, I just tend to use the, the move tool, but it's a, totally up to you. <clears throat> Alright, so next time we're going to go over the, the views. So, uh, we're going to uh, press B for the bottom, T for the top, L for the left, there's, there's none for the, for the right, F for the, uh, F for front, P for perspective view, and to disable the viewport, you press D. Basically what that does is if you have a bunch of animation going on on one scene, this won't update. See, it says inactive. Well, let me move it a little bit. All right. I th yeah. Now it says inactive until you click on the scene, and then you'll have your animation play on this scene. It's, to, uh, it, it's for people who don't have amazing graphics cards like myself. Um and to speed up workflow. And then the last one is to maximize the view, which is this button down here. But the hotkey is Alt W. So if you click here, Alt W, Alt W, Alt W. All right. Next one is the uh, zooming in, zooming out. So I'm going to Alt W, I'm just going to, for the remainder of this project, I'm probably going to be in one view. So uh, zoom mode is Alt, is Alt Z, and it brings up this button down here where you can zoom out and zoom in. If you press Control minus, Control minus, it zooms out, Control plus, it zooms in. You can also use your mouse wheel if, you're, if you have a mouse wheel. Um, the next thing I will d demonstrate is uh, viewport toggle. So if, if you click on this, actually this is going to be a little bonus thing. Uh, if you press Alt X, you can see through it. Um, I didn't know what to put this under, so I put this in viewport toggle. Um, Alright, so F3 is for wireframe, F3 
for is for toggle uh, you have to press F3 to turn it off and turn it on. Um, F4 is to toggle face. So if I crank this up 10 by 10 by 10, make it an edible poly. Okay, there we go. Toggle face and turn off face. F5. Right there. Face and then off. Alright, so F5 is highlight the Y axis view, which is uh, X, sorry, X axis view, which is this. If you notice, they're, they're uh, highlighting. So F5 is X. F6 is Y, and of course F7 is C. Now let's say you have a bunch of things in the scene. So I'm just gonna... I'll get back to what I'm doing right now with the copy and pasting and all that. Okay, so you have three objects in the scene and you really want to get into the middle one right here. It's called isolation. So you press Alt Q to isolate everything in the scene. So if we go to our manage layers, you'll notice the other two layers are turned off. So Alt, so it's also down here, right here, isolation. Um, so then you turn it off to go back. And it also, when you isolate, it snaps your viewport to maximize what's going on in that scene. <clears throat> Alright, so like I was saying earlier, copying and pasting is a little different than most 3D programs. Uh, to You would think copy is control C, but it's not actually. So if you press P to go back to perspective, it created a camera. So control C is to create cameras. To copy and paste, you just press control V and you can you can copy instance a reference copy is a cop where you can copy it and and make changes and it won't affect the original one but if you instance it and make changes it'll affect the original one um, you can also shift drag shift drag so I'm gonna go ahead and delete back it up back it up back it up to the original thing the next thing I'm going to go over is um, how to link things and parents and childs and all that so we're just gonna go ahead and make three different objects. Square. I'm gonna one by one by one so that it's not too cluttered. Square. Cone. Boom. And sphere. Boom. So now, <coughs> when you link th when you link things together, this is the link tool. Um. I'm going to link this to this and link this to this. So whatever I do to the, this one, it'll affect these two. Whatever I do to this one, it'll affect that. So now, if you ever wondered how to go up and down the, 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 through the parents and the childs, it's kind of easy. It's uh, page up and page down. So page down, you go down to the child and then to the child. And then page up is to the that parent and then to that parent. Um, another quick uh, miscellaneous thing that I threw in that I'm throwing in here is um, Control A is to highlight all, select all. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is align and snap. So if you press A, uh, I'll show you real quick. 
So, so when we're rotating this, when we're rotating this, it's not really snapping to any number. It's just kind of going to whatever zero, whatever increment you're moving it. So you press A, it'll snap it to whatever you set it to. So I think this is five. Yeah, 65, 55, 50. You can also you change it here by right clicking and then you just change it right here angle change that to that 50 and then I'll change it to 50 increments all right so the next thing um, next thing is the align tool so I'm gonna go ahead and unlink everything and the first one I'm going to go over is called the align uh, the align tool. So Alt A, and you click it, and it aligns. And the other thing is the quick align. So Shift A, click it, and it already goes there without that, without without uh, this box saying, "Are you sure you want to go?" to this this position or this position or whatever um, I use those hotkeys a lot <coughs> next next the next group that we'll talk about is uh, animation so auto key is N so when you move something it puts it puts the auto key oh I have it on step so we don't want it on step we want it on <coughs> we want it on easy ease all right so there we go whoop you all right so the next thing is i'm just going to go all the way to frame 100 uh these keys right here all of these right here all of these have hot keys so so the end, so if you hit end, it goes to the very end of your animation. End, end. Home, it goes to the beginning of the very beginning of the animation. To play the animation, you press um, question mark or I think it's backspace. That's to play it. And then press it again and stop. To move, um, to move backwards in time, press the left uh, carrot key right next to the question mark and then forward in time the uh, the right carrot not carrot arrow key or carrot I think it's carrot alright so now the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and just delete delete all those keys I'm gonna press N to get rid of uh, auto frame alright so the next thing is the material editor press M and there it is the material editor that you can throw your materials on so I'll just make that color that th and then this color will be uh, red and then this color will be blue boom there we go <coughs> RGB so the next section, and the very last section that I will be talking about, is rendering. So if you press F10, it brings up the oops, it's over here, sorry, uh, the render setup where you do all your render settings. F9, it will once again, it's over here. Uh, F9 will quick render it. So if I get rid of it, F9, there we go. Um, so now let's say you have a bunch of scene, a bun uh, two cameras. So I'm gonna make this perspective and press F3 and I'm press gonna press G to get rid of the grid. Um, here too. Eh, let's keep the grid. Um, and you're Press, I'm gonna press D so it doesn't disable the viewport. So if I, so things don't disappear. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and move this like down he or up here. So I'm over here and I'm rendering, I'm rendering, and rendering, and I'm like, okay, let's go to the other viewport. Wait, but I'm selected on this viewport. Why isn't it rendering? What's going on? You maximize it, and it's still not doing it. You, and you're like, what the heck? What's going on? So what you need to do is you have to change your view right here to this view. Or you can press a hotkey. It's called sh it's Shift Q, and it changes it. So let's say now you're back to this one, Shift Q. Back to this one, Shift Q. Uh, etc. Um, okay, well, this is the end of the tutorial. I hope all of this, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I use these, these hotkeys on the daily as much as I can to speed up workflow, of course. Um, you are welcome to check out any of our other tutorials at www.ragdollanimation.com and I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.